Computex 2015 would not have been possible without the innovative Fantex, world-leading NVIDIA graphics, memory partner Corsair, and the retail partner NCIX, along with Silverstone and InWin. With Intel Skylake chipsets right around the corner, Gigabyte has announced their new flagship Z170 G1 ATX gaming motherboard. As expected, this motherboard is designed with quality components for confident extreme overclocking capabilities and 4-way GPU support. The LG1150 ONE socket will support dual-channel DDR4 memory, three SATA Express connectors for up to 16 gigabits per second data transfer rates. Right in between the PCI Express slots, there are two times PCIe Gen 3 X4 M.2 connectors with an insane 32 gigabits per second transfer speeds and support for RAID. Wow. As for I.O., you get six USB 3.0 ports, a single USB 3.1 Type-A port, HDMI 2.0 for 4K at 60 Hz, 7.1 channel audio, dual gigabit ethernet, and a USB Type-C port with support for power delivery 2.0 up to 36 watts. Gigabyte has also included a built-in creative sound blaster for a better sound experience, and with the onboard audio like that, you won't be needing a desktop DAC. There is an LED trace path through the gaming G1 branding on the motherboard with seven color choices, so we are seeing RGB implementation into motherboards now. And if you're into water cooling, there are built-in G1 quarter thread fittings on the heatsink. We are noticing motherboard manufacturers reinforcing the PCI lanes with metal housing. We are told for improved durability of the lanes and release some of the long-term tension to prevent GPU sag. The G1 Gaming motherboard is Gigabyte's top of the line, fully decked out and ready to go Skylake motherboard. And I like the white and red accents that should suit many builds, especially if you're paired with great looking RAM. Gigabyte also showed off their new G1 980 Ti with different looking Windforce cooler, now with silver and aluminum accents on the front instead of having the traditional all black. The triple fan design isn't anything new for Gigabyte, but with ASUS's new DirectCU3 cooler that also has three fans, we are excited to test the thermal performance of each of these GPUs, but one thing they share is silent mode where the fans don't kick in if GPU temperatures remain below 55C. Clock speeds are still unknown, but we're hoping at least a 15% boost on the base clocks for these cards. One thing we have to say is Gigabyte produces some of the best looking backlights, and the G1 is no exception with an aluminum backlight that's designed like the part of the card with these angular cutouts to fit the rest of the design and now with WinForce logo on top of the card is illuminated with many color options. RGB is now everywhere. The heatsink is pretty large with five copper heat pipes that should cool the GPU well under control. And one difference on this card is an extra DVI port, while the rest of the I.O. remains the same as the reference 980 Ti. So what do you guys think about the new G1 gaming introductions from Gigabyte? Are you ready to jump onto the Z170 platform and between all other 980 Ti releases, do you like the approach on the Gigabyte card? Let us know in the comment down below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.